So how do, what do we say, how do you say to those young talents out there who have those instincts that are up in their attics or in their basements doing mm -hmm. radio shows, what do you say? Go to LA, go to Chicago, go to Toronto, go to your local radio station? I wouldn't go to LA. I would become, try to become the big fish in a smaller pond. Um, but mainly, I would say, work. Because I think that actors and performers get better and better and better and better the more they work. And the more they work, the more they become... Um, that was the great advantage I had as a Canadian actor. Again, in the 70s, no star system, but you got to work way more than a comparable American actor would. I mean, you can log hours on television. Because the pool was smaller? Well, because maybe the pool is smaller, right? And um, because it, there's a more variety of things, you know? So, in other words, if someone says, oh, we want you to be in that play, there's no money, do the play. Work, do it as much as you can in every form that you can. And that's my advice. And somehow the other thing that never makes sense, but it's true, if you somehow do not take it seriously, that it's just a career, it's not your life. Because that's what young actors do all the time. They audition for something, they have to wait a week, and so they have no life. Their life's on hold until they're here. And then, if they don't get it, they feel like a failure. And the reality is, when you finally end up on the other side, it really hits home that, the other side being that you're now hiring people, and they're auditioning for you, you realize 98% of these decisions are based on he's too tall, he's too short, he's too young, he's too old, he's not good looking enough, he's too cute, he's too blah, blah. And so what I used to do at a certain point, that sunk in. And so I would, again, if I had to go in and they gave me two pages to memorize, or two pages of a scene, I would memorize it. I'd work on it. Then I'd go into the edition and pretend I hadn't memorized it. I'd just hold the pages. Because if I walked in and said, oh, I don't, I'm, it's, uh, I'm off book, then they, you're kind of saying you're giving them a final performance. So you have to make them believe that what you're doing is just kind of like winging it a little bit. Um, and uh, Should they get a good agent? Should well, they you can't get a good agent unless you've been in something. So it's always that catch-22. That's the catch-22. Yeah. So how does the young aspiring, you know, actress in Peterborough, Ontario say, I'm in a catch-22. I can't get it. I can't, I can't do enough to have tape to be seen in order to be seen. Well, now it's very different because you can get tape because you can set up a camera. You can put yourself on YouTube, and that's what people are doing to get noticed. It's just about how do you get your resume noticed, basically. And, um, but, but that's the business of show business. From the artistry of show business, of being an actor, the more you act, the better you get, I think. And should they go to Vancouver? Should they go to Kamloops? Should they go to Toronto? Should they go to Seattle? Should I wouldn't go, go to Kamloops. To I'd go to Vancouver. So maybe they have Kamloops? Well, there's no show business. <laughs> I would go to Vancouver and I would go to Toronto. That's what I'd do. And, uh, and maybe that's too daunting. Or maybe you spend the first five years in Kamloops where you get to do more work than you would in Toronto and then you're ready for the next level. You know, we don't go from public school grade eight to first year university, we go to high school. So you have to do that as you develop your career too.